Well, folks, this is what we got. A whole lot of loose parts. <laughs> I think that's going to be the name for it. it. Sounds pretty good. So when I was looking at the pictures, those really wrecked, rough, rough fenders, I think are right for this grill and for this car. So it's like a very fluke scenario where I got everything that's right. But I think I'm going to still try to run these fenders. There's a little more meat in them. What I want to do is run... I was going to run an S10 frame, but then I had a buddy of mine come by and mention how the S10 frames kind of like schnunk out. So that's a problem. So anywho, I'm, uh, I'm just going to, I got some loose clips. So I'm going to bring a clip in and uh, I want to just test fit, see how they go with here. I'm super worried that the steering box is going to be in the way. Uh, but then after that, we could use that frame and we can just totally make a new frame coming up out the back. That would not be a big deal because we got to gut everything out of here anywho and we got to make uh, tons of floor stuff so shouldn't be a big deal so anyways i have absolutely no idea what fenders these are a buddy of mine told me this is probably about a 37 chevy hood and for the most part it looks like i could make it work we'll see should be able to though the sides not so much they're kind of cool but they don't uh they just are not going to happen with this car. So, like I say, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a front clip. I want to uh, see how the fenders will fit on there because my goal is to bag it and I would love it that the car would sit like, right, like on the ground like that. Would be awesome. And then we'll figure out we'll make some running boards and rockers and uh, like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go grab a clip and then uh, we'll see how these fenders and stuff will fit. Alrighty, we brought in two clips. Um, I got a Dakota clip and I got an S10. I use the S10 tons. I brought this one up because I do want to bag the car and I've pulled the springs out of this so I must have been just test fitting it or doing something at one time. So it's almost on the ground. We can kind of get a rough estimate. I feel like I'm going to be running like some 14s or something like that. And then I brought a Dakota clip because I don't know for sure, but I just know like it has a rack of pinion in it. So that might just work out better. I don't know yet though. So anywho, uh, I'm going to go grab a fender and we're going to kind of like mock it up and see how things, how things work here. The S10, it fits not bad, but the steering box is like, oh, it's like so borderline crazy. Then that one, just too wide. I think it's like two inches too wide. And if it's, it's semi-close, but you'd have wheels almost sticking out of the fender wheel, and I don't want that. So I think what I'm going to try here blindly is like what I normally do. We will... Uh, just murder this frame up to the steering box. Even if I go a little past the steering box. Um, for now, I'll cut it super close to the steering box. We can come back as long as we don't get anywhere near where that bolt is. Because we got one, two, three mounting bolts. So I can come back a wee bit, but I'll, I'll see how the fender fits, like what it wants to do. So we're going to lay a straight edge across. We're just going to slice and murder off the front part of this clip. And then we're going to hang the fenders again and we'll see how, how this looks. Like if it's doable. This steering is just totally kicking a guy's butt. Anyways, pull out the plasma and let's just slice some stuff up. <laughs>
Well, terrible example, but this is kind of what I like. I like the wheel a little bit forward in the wheel well. Uh, but this is like too high. I want it like lower. But the other side, that stupid steering box is in the way. So you see here, see how this wheel's tucked back? It's like so close. I like the stance of the other one, but I don't have anything else to cut away in the front because I'm actually physically hitting the steering box right now. I think there's a little bit. Nah, it's like pretty much physical steering box I'm hitting. It just needs to scoot like an inch or so. I'm going to blindly just check one of my other S10 chassis out there to see. I don't think there's a difference, but just if the manual box for some reason is a little smaller. But I can't see how because then these arms would have to be different. There's just too much. I might have to look into a rack opinion for this thing, which seems crazy and weird. Folks would be like, just put a Mustang 2 under it. But you have no idea how expensive it is to get a Mustang 2 up here. Uh, I think the best price is probably about $3,500 by the time I get the front end and like the steering component. Like basically just a Mustang 2 kit to put into a 50 Chevy. Uh, I don't know where you'd find, but if you go eBay, they're like $2,500 and then $1,500 to ship it up here. So, yeah, it's a lot of money. I feel like I can deal with this and a little bit of farting around and I can build my whole chassis and suspension for less than that. So, it's kind of the plan. Because I have some random four bars around, stuff to make it. Um, I do have a Mustang rack around here. I'd like the power, but... I'm not the end of the world if I don't have it. I might take a shot at trying to uh, narrow a rack and see if we can get that to work, but I don't know. There's a kit, I can't remember what it is. They make one and I don't know if it's like, by the time you get it here, it's probably like $1,000 or something, but so I'm not 100% sure which way I want to go, but I'm a ways away from this. I'm not too worried. I wanted to see how this fit before I totally commit to it, so. Not a big deal. Now the problem is, is, well, it's not a problem. Uh, I think we're gonna have to start messing with the body like to get it over to this side. I'm trying to think what's the best way to tackle that. I do have like, I built a frame table years ago. It's big, it's heavy, it's awkward. I might set it up over on this side because then if I put the body on it, I can use the hoist to lift it away if I'm working on the body and chassis. I can kind of deal with it two ways. Either way, I still want to explore this option still. This thing's not even an option, so out the door it's going to go. And then I can scrap that. Yeah. I don't know. We played with it. There's not much I can do at this point. I think right now the main thing is I'm going to have to just start focusing on the body and get it so the doors will open and close. That's a big one right now. And then we can worry about a lot of other stuff. I'm just trying to get all my ducks in a row because I want to see if uh, I have to order stuff. Uh, then I would like to get ahead of the game on that, that's all. Alrighty, well, all right, I'm gonna shuffle some stuff around and then uh, we'll be back in a bit.
Look at the mess we got to work with here. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, we kind of like brought everything in the shop. Everything's sitting on the, this is that frame table I had made years ago. I think I did one frame on it. I found it was almost like it's comfortable to stand on, but it's terrible to work on with everything. So I can't, yeah. But I feel it's a good base place to start working with this particular cab because it's, uh, well, it's, it's pretty screwed. So we got a, like, I basically tacked the front on, it should be semi-square to the, to the table. I'm not too worried about that. The back is just sitting on some blocks, so that's nothing special. The, the hard part is right now is we got to get the cab like squared and squared. <laughs> Everything is everywhere. I am sure these panels, this panel is not bad, but I think it should probably come out a little more. So there's that. This side's like way worse. This side almost looks like it goes in, but there's no rocker. There's no nothing on this side. So let me get underneath here. Let's see if I can show what's happening better. Oh. So this one, the whole post is pretty hamburgered. There's like nothing here. And well, we got a few bits of it there, but at least there's this side. Now in the end, they're probably not gonna match. I'm not gonna change it around. This one is, it's good. It's just, if you look, if I pull on it, push on it, we're probably getting closer to where it's supposed to be. So that's fine. The A pillars don't look terrible. Like they're kind of going where they're supposed to go. The only thing you can tell here is this one is like, yeah which is kind of close to where I'm thinking it should be. And this one is like, no, it's kind of all mushed that way. So I'm thinking I'll get to secure the cab a little better, but we're going to basically just violently try to force these spots where they're supposed to go. And then, uh, cause there's nothing here. I'm going to imagine there should be a rocker of some kind. So below here, a feather has some, something to go by. Uh, to maybe stick like a two by two or stick something around here. Just my goal is to have a, a bar going across this way, something, a spreader in the front, not too low. Cause we don't know what we're doing for a chassis or anything yet, but get a spreader in there so that that is sitting where it's supposed to like width wise or what I think it should be. And then this side's like in worse shape. There's nothing here and there's nothing to attach this B pillar to. So this is kind of junky on the way up. Actually, it's a lot junky. Wow. Is this side that? Eh, it's not as bad. I'm gonna measure this out because these might get replaced by a big chunk of steel. I'll probably just kind of put a piece of steel in there, shape it a wee bit, come all the way down, get this panel pushed out like it's got to go out a lot. Um, but if we can get it to push out, and get a brace inside across, you know, kind of try to stiffen this thing up because everything's been cut everywhere for, I don't know what reasons. See how that one's bad, but the door doesn't match it. Oh, wow, eh? Those doors are quite a bit different. <laughs> We're just gonna make everything fit with the junk that we got. Oh, look at this, this side's on, it's, it's good, but it's not. Although it had the same violent cut up there. We're going to reshape these doors anyway, so I'm not too worried, but I really like it when, if you do a three window, that's going to bring this panel somewhere around here, up to there, something like that. It's a little bulky. I do like it when these windows kind of have, like, this thing's almost like an oval sweep. That looks cool to me. I really want to rock the original dash, but I've found a speedometer, but I don't know where any of the other stuff is. So this is like a whole, I don't know what's going to happen here yet. But, uh, man, I got to source some steel. So I'm thinking that's going to be tomorrow's plan. I got to source a bit of steel. We got to try to build a rocker of some kind. And we're going to have to deal with this post. Like, this one's okay. I may replace it because I'm doing the one side. Because this one, it gets, it's torn right here. 
We get up here, it's twisted. And that could be in this whole door frame. I don't know for sure yet because there's so much of it's missing. It's just the door. Why is there so much missing off the door? Oh my goodness. Does this thing do the same? I hope there's more to the door than that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Interesting. Why is so much missing? Okay. Well, we need some steel. So this thing goes to something that looks like that. Not too important, but there's a lot missing there. Yeah. All right. Anyways, I got enough gab babbling. I just got to start working. That's going to be the plan here. I'm going to set up some lighting and stuff and uh, we're just going to start bracing and twisting and moving stuff. And hopefully the idea, once this goes out the firewall, which I'm just going to replace, but you can see where it's just rotten and stuff, but you can see how twisted and buggered up it is. Hopefully when this gets twisted back to shape, uh, the firewall is going to want to sort of square out. I'll cut it. I'll be cutting it out and just smoothing one in there because it's going to be way easier than working with this one. But uh, yeah. The other thing we're going to see is this S10 clip. I'll show you that right away too. So we got our clip. I had a manual box. They are quite a bit smaller, but it's just not small enough. Like the fender is going to have to come into here. I have sourced Unisteer and the cheapest I have found is on Summit, I think. I think it's like 600 US. I can get a rack. I might splurge because they have one for $800, but it'll be the rack with the... Um, it's got some steering joints. Eh, I don't know which way I'm going yet. The unit just looks like it would bolt onto here and one of the bolts or something on this side. I'm not sure, but it's a, it's a rear steer, but I don't know, somehow they got it in the front with a bar on here and you'll use the outer tie rod ends on it. So I'm hoping it can work with no bump steer and all that jazz. Cause that's a lot of money, but I've been looking, I can't find any racks or anything that fit uh so i'm gonna kind of just splurge that way that'll be my big spend i think on the car but well there'll be more but that'll be one of them Anywho, we can see here why i can't use a full s10 frame because well it comes out and it comes out some more yet which is outside the body we can kind of hide it but we might be better off just making two straight sticks going down and we'll build our own kick up for our suspension in the back because this, by the time I get these panels out, we should be from here just nudging through there. So whether I got a channel or whatnot, I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. These, there's no springs in here, but technically if there's weight, this would go down more. I don't know if I'm using this clip because it's it's got some weird rust in places on it and stuff. But we might, might not, don't know yet. Anywho, this thing should go down a lot more. Um, this cross member technically. When it's all bagged out, it should like touch the ground. So, because it's messed up as it is, that's usually about how I ride. My front ends are kind of parallel. <laughs> we got bags for it, but that's all we got so far. So, anyways, I got tons of blabbering going on, but uh, I think the first things we got to do is do some measuring, square up, because you can see this post. See how it's curled in, and this one's uh, it's broken, but it at least looks right. So. And oh, well, at least we're starting, eh? We're getting somewhere. Not really. I've been talking a lot. Let me uh, let me start building things here. Start uh, modifying and squaring some stuff up.
All right, folks, we kind of gave up early last night. We got the initial part of this thing kind of squared up. I've picked up some one by two or one by three, one by two, one by two, and some two by two, some thin walled. So the one by two, what I want to do is pie cut it and we're going to kind of build a, a rocker, I guess, so to say, out of it. I'll kind of go under there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Kind of like this, eh? To have a... <laughs> tripping on everything. Kind of like having a hoist and uh, a frame table. <laughs> Makes it much easier to work on underneath there. All right. Let me uh, show you what I'm doing here. So my goal, because we don't have any rocker, is for now we're going to tie this into the back. And because these are the bottom of the doors, I don't care if stuff hangs under here because eventually it'll get covered with vendors. There'll be a running board and a splash apron. At least that's my thought. If I look at this door, it looks like it semi should be even with what's supposed to be down here. So I'll figure out a way to tie these two together. But for now, I want to make a fictional, like a bend to what these things I feel should be. And uh, that's where we're going to make the car. I hold this sucker up to here. It's not a uh, little heavy. It's not quite square or straight. Let me see here. You can see the door has a bit of a a bow to it. So essentially that's what I'm going to try to mirror. I'll probably do it from the outside. I'll do it on this side because we got more of the car. So I'm going to pie cut, get this thing to try to follow this imaginary line that I got. So like we're missing out of here as well. And just like the door just hangs lower than it should. Because if you look at this, if this is the right fender, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're going to make it all. So no problem. We'll start with what I thought. We will figure things out as we go. There's no point trying to make something that I don't know what I got here. All right. This will be easy. We'll just pie cut, follow the outside perimeter of this door, and hopefully it works. That's kind of the goal.
Okay, so we got our one by two. I tried to, well at first I did, I took this one and then I, I cut it. I was gonna do just a whole crap load of pie cuts to try to get this shape, only to realize I have a pipe bender, so actually shouldn't say that. It just looked like it turned into, it's gonna be a lot of work. So then I proceeded to try slapping it on the ground. It got a little bit of shape, but it was more of a, hurt my hands more than anything. So I decided to uh, use our exhaust bender. Eh, it's not right, but it, you know, well, <laughs> clearly it's not right, but I managed to put it in there and it was able to kink it for me nicely, like give me a nice bend. So with that said, we actually have like a nice run. Uh, it's not, how do we put this? I don't really know what's supposed to be on the bottom of the car. So we're going to use this heavier gauge. I think this is 3 16 We're going to make the outer perimeter, like the lower part of the car with that. So now the door at least has something to overlap. When everything's said and done, we'll probably have the running board somewhere in this vicinity. So it won't be a big deal. Here we'll have to do a little bit of finessing yet but I'm pretty sure it'll get covered by the, the, the fender when it comes time. So I'm not really concerned what this looks like, especially right now. I just think I have to go in here and actually like there's, um, I don't know, you can see that? You can see the big gap. There's like a big gap, but we're lined up at the bottom of the door. Far as I can tell, the door is lined up as good as it can be because it kind of went with the body lines. I guess this one's a little off, but I don't know how you would Hmm. I guess I'll raise that. I don't really know yet. <laughs> yeah, we'll worry about that. That's uh, future me problems. We'll figure that out. All I know is this line looks good, goes across. It looks nice and straight. So we're going to keep it. So once I get this pillar kind of tacked in, the B pillar is tacked in and I've tacked it into the back. So we can continue with this. I don't know what you call this thing. We'll call it a quarter panel I don't know this one will have to finish down into there but we'll be able to weld it to that that'll be cool uh, the other side is just a little more troublesome because we're missing way more stuff but we're basing it on the same lines like the doors lined up similar I'm gonna check that to make sure but the gap it looks straight looks good that way so I'll confirm that we're let's do it a measurement uh, a finger difference from side to side how far out is this? Ooh, not that much. Hmm. Man. Man. I don't know. Let's not worry about it. Let's not think about it. Let's just... Hmm. Why is that? Your gaps are all weird. Yeah, that front of the door should go down. Ugh, bummer. All right. We're going to have to address that. I think this line is okay, but we don't know for sure. We don't know if the other side's right. Yeah, we can't go with that one. Let's go with this messed up mess. No. Uh, Yuck. I can see. It seems relatively straight. I'm guessing that's how he did that, but hmm. I don't know. We'll have to look at that. I think for now we got to tack this just to get some stuff square. We can move things after, but. Oh, I see. He went with this upper one. See how this one's lined up here? That's how that one was done. Is this one done the same way? Not exactly. So this side should actually go up a bit. Well, oh, there's a lot of screwing around. <laughs> oh, everything's like just zapped in place and not right. Okay, I'm going to go check, make sure this is square. I'm going to see if I'm going to have to bust some welds and kind of move some things. We are totally going to have to come revisit door gaps and all kinds of stuff, but we can fix that with everything that's screwed up with the doors anywho. Yeah, see this one's got a decent gap going up and down. The other side's not so much. 
That doesn't mean a darn thing when you think about it because that pillar in there is just hammered. Ah, whatever. We'll do whatever looks nice and call her done. Call her good. Anyways, um, yeah. Let me putter around, see what I can do, and then we'll, uh, we'll tack in that lower piece. How many of you folks puckered up when I snatched that last weld and everything just went boing? <laughs> yeah, that moved a lot. Anyways, we got it, got it squared back. It's evenly screwed up now side to side. So I'm okay with that. We will deal with it. Um, yeah, I can work with that. I don't mind if stuff's screwed up. It'd just be nice if it's screwed up side to side. So anyway, we got the, we'll have to fix this line or do something with it, new no problem. I measured from here down to here. We are same, same with the front down to here. So as screwed up as this looks, it's evenly screwed up from the side to side. So I'm cool with that. Now our problem is like this one, I had little chunks of something to tack onto. We'll have to do up in the front here yet. Um, we just have bigger gaps with stuff from one side to the other. And then this one, there's just, there's nothing to actually weld anything to. I might tack the door to it for now. Like just do a tack and a tack, that'll hold it. But you can see how bad this panel is compared to the other side, eh? It's like, we're gonna have to reskin this quarter or something because she's, uh, she is stretched to no, no means. I don't think I can get that back. Might be easier to just cut this and just make a new panel down, uh, down to here. Anyways, what we gotta do now is this inside, I want to, I guess I got a piece of two by two and we're gonna redo the inside. Let me get my light on and I'll get you in there. Ooh. <clears throat> All right, so this panel is just toast. Toast, toast, toast. You can see it's been like tack welded. Somebody's tried fixing it. Clearly this thing was in some other damaging accident at some time. Oh, it's just so brutal. You know what's messing me up is the fact this door doesn't actually have an inner lip. When I do this, I'm actually just going out. It's like the front part of the door, the bits are there. The back part of the door, both sides are missing this little this part here, like this is actually door jam. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of struggling with. So anyways, I am going to take this two by two and I guess I'm gonna just, man, run back and forth like a million times until I get this thing 
Oh. Stuff don't fit in here so well. There we go. Oh. I got a piece way too big. So it looks like it's two inch, so I'm going to kind of run this thing up and down. I'm going to redo the shape, kind of get it to that. We're going to blow... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't... I guess I'll go to the top. I'm not worried about the wing window, like the, the corner window, because it's not going to be here. So if it looks screwed up for a little while, I'm okay with it. This one's okay. I don't feel the need to replace both of them. I know folks are going to say you should do them both, but... Let's mirror this to this side. That'll be the goal. And, uh, hmm. Let's get this bottom. I'm going to tack something down here to here so I can climb in and out for now and not have to have this bar in my way. That's kind of the plan. And we're ready. Well, no time like the present. Let's just. Bend her up. Well now, that worked out pretty good. Like, we now have some form of structure here. <laughs> we gotta do a lot of tweaking, like stuff's just tacked in. But it reaches down to the bottom. This side, it just sort of stops. So we'll kind of try to connect this stuff together yet. Here, you know, that pipe exhaust bender. <laughs> If you use it for the wrong stuff, it works not bad. The only thing I didn't like is it kind of blisters, like it bubbles this, because I guess I don't have a right die. Normally it would push into this. 
to give the steel somewhere to go. So what happens is this turns into a bubble and it sort of squishes this a little bit that way. The backside's nice. So anyways, I just whacked with a hammer. I probably could have left it, but I wanted it a little more flat. Anyways, we got that in. It's attached, like it's just tacked at the top. It's tacked at the bottom. We tacked these rails in, but at least we got some structure going. We're gonna have to somehow figure out how to tie back into here. We're gonna make up something fictional and uh, try to get the two sides to match. Cause well, if we go by this, this needs to, well, the quarter panel can come out. I guess what I'll have to do next is I'm gonna make a template, try to follow this. Somebody made this bottom, so it's wrong anyways, but um, we'll try to do a fictional line coming down. We'll get this thing into the same zone. And then, I don't know, we'll just start scabbing stuff together until it's like strong. It's the way I see it. Uh, this will be a good base for the bottom of the car and then to attach everything to, like the floor and stuff. So. Uh, I'm comfortable, happy with that. We just got to tie things in better into other chunks of it. Because eventually that clip's going to come over and technically, well, when the front comes off, I want the frame rail to kind of come yay through the back side of the car. Then we just have a small, I don't want to have the floor like crazy channeled and we shouldn't need it with the running boards and stuff, but we'll see. That could totally change or something. Something might not work and we'll have to figure things out, but anyways, I think this is a good start. We got a good start going. I, uh, I'm thinking the next round, what I really would like to do is uh, get a lot of this stuff fastened and that way we can bust the doors loose without it <laughs> springing cr like crazy apart and uh, Maybe make the doors just open and close, even though we'll have to figure out a latching system now. There's like nothing there. I have a buddy who thinks maybe he has a set of door or knows where there's a set of doors. So I want to see if we can grab those before I go too far. Like if they work, if they're the right doors, because they might have more, more bits to it. And that'd be really nice instead of having to make everything. Anyways, I think that's where we're going to leave this one. I uh, want to thank you folks for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. The more coop action. <laughs> Later.